Hi, it's Faces Tech. How's it going? Who remembers the uh, chip, the nine dot nine, the uh, supposedly nine dollar Linux uh, single board computer? But when you actually added, wanted to add video and stuff to it, it was a lot more, and then postage a lot more. Anyway, they made another thing called the pocket chip, which was like a um, like a, an add-on which had a screen, built-in keyboard, uh, battery. It was great. I was going to buy one, but they were really expensive to import. Um, well, this is why I've made this, which is a, let's take a hardware tour, which is a Raspberry Pi Zero W, uh, three and a half inch screen, which is 480 by 320, which is quite quite high res for the small size. Um, I've got a uh, dock, uh, a USB dock, I'll have more of that in a minute, uh, a USB key, uh, sorry, USB, Bluetooth keyboard, uh, which is connected to it, and then I've got a power bank board and a battery. And that powers it, this on and off switch here. Um, I'm not sure how long it lasts for because I've not really tried it um, in a long period of time, but it does, it seems to go forever because it's a 2600 milliamp hour battery, which you know will last forever, which is great with this power bank board because it's pretty independent of the project. You can actually charge your phone if you get caught short, which is, I think is quite handy. Um, but there's a few struggles along the way, the mainly being the keyboard. I started out with this. Xbox 360 chat pad, you've probably seen him around. Found some guy's software, but I realized that he was using the actual um, clones of these, which had the whole membrane keyboard, not like the nice clicky ones that he's had. Um, couldn't get the software to work anyway, bin that off. Next up, the um, PS3 keypad, I think it was called, which is quite cool. Bluetooth, winner. Um, and it also had like a weird mode where you press this button uh, and you could rub your finger over the keys and it would be a trackpad. But I took it apart, cut some bits off it that hooked it hooked around the controller, cut all them bits off, put it back together, and it was, you know, the buttons all pretty much solid and the trackpad functionality had gone. because uh, it was all like a weird like membrane um, underneath, a few layers. But yeah, that didn't work out. Uh, next up I found this keyboard, which was um I just found looking. It's basically if you've ever seen these, it's there, it's it's this minus the trackpad that's been cut off basically um which was quite cool but on after i got it all together i was using it it uses bluetooth 2.0 which is where the issue is because it's got a raspberry zero w i thought i'll use the bluetooth and the wi-fi we won't have to have any dongles sticking out um which is great but then found this it would connect and then disconnect and then take about 30 seconds to reconnect and do that all the time and i thought what is going on looked around some forums found some people with the ps um Raspberry 3 having audio issues and they said use an external dongle which I did and it worked which because originally I wanted a full size USB port so I thought oh great I'll just um, break out the uh, OTG um, pads underneath with some um, pogo pins to a full size female and that was it job done which was great it was a cheap easy option um, but obviously with now with the dongle that's but the whole reason was I went with a Bluetooth keyboard was to not have a dongle because you get the 2.4 um, like this. You have the the dongle you put in. So it's kind of frustrating. But anyway, I found another blog post where someone had used um, one of these like hubs that uh, plug into your phone. And they have a load of different ports coming out, like a little square thing in the middle. And they have all these like full-size ports coming out. So what I did was took the board out of it but the board was like uh, there's pads on it that were soldered to for the different um, USB ports were soldered to. So I thought, how am I going to do this? Well, anyway, I put these pads around the side and then plop the plop the uh, PCB down and then just use bonding wires just to solder onto it and it works quite well. If you you can kind of see it under there with the red light and I just bonded a load of wires on. It's kind of a bit messy, but it worked. It was cheap. And then I just brought it out to two USB ports, so I had a single free full size USB port, which was kind of most of the uh, what I wanted. Um, what else? There's the power bank board, seeing that, that's cool. It's just connected up. Um, the reason I, you're probably thinking, why have I put the GPO, which are broken out here, under the screen? You should have done them at the top because then you can clip a ribbon cable in and it'll be out the way. But I wanted these ports at the top exposed. Because you can plug it into a monitor and you can plug it in to the mains. If you want it like on all day, sitting on your desk, uh, displaying something, you can just plug it into the mains and then you wouldn't have to worry about overcharging the battery or the battery running out. Um, but 
with this, when I clip it in, the GPIO, you can just remove the keyboard. And that was another struggle, how to mount the keyboard. You end up using one of these for your phone, you get them, you put that on the back of your phone, stick that to your car dash or wherever, and then it just sticks to it. And I thought, oh, that's great. Um, basically stuck it under there, took it out of its, um, took it out of this because it was adding a couple of, it's only like, I think it's about five, three millimeters, I think this is. It just about gets through it because it's solid. And then I put um, uh, screws there sticking up just to hold it and it holds it in place because mostly you, when you are typing on it, it's like a downward force, so it's not really moving out the way. But if it was the way, it was spinning around and knocking it out. And uh, yeah, but uh, since since I've um, been doing this project, I've actually um, decided to turn this into a like a like a uh, platform. So I've I've going to order myself one, uh, redesign the PCB a little bit, and it's going to have um, like on its own. So I'm going to use this as a development platform, and then when I want to, um, I can just once I finish develop it on here, I've got like a standalone unit. I can uh, just have it like sit on my desk or doing whatever with so it's kind of it's kind of uh, span out a little bit but yeah anyway as usual there'll be uh, a link in the description below with the uh, blog post and uh, a few other bits and bobs um, but yeah anyway thanks for watching and bye